एंटीप्लेटलेट ड्रग सो एंटीप्लेटलेट ड्रग दे प्रिवेंट प्लेटलेट डिपोजिशन दे प्रिवेंट प्लेटलेट डिपोजिशन सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस हाउ प्लेटलेट फंक्शन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट हैपन्स प्लेटलेट्स दे कम एंड अटैच्ड ऑन अ डैमेज ब्लड वेसल इन साइड द प्लेटलेट वी हैव वन एंजाइम कॉक्स वन एंजाइम विच प्रोड्यूस थ्रोम्बोक्सेन ए टू दिस थ्रोम्बोक्सेन ए टू प्रोड्यूस बाय कॉक्स वन एंजाइम इन प्लेटलेट कॉजेस प्लेटलेट अटैचमेंट ना वेन द प्लेटलेट्स आर अटैच्ड रिमेंबर द रिलीज अ मॉलिक्यूल नोन एज ए डी पी दैट इज एडीनोसिन डाइफॉसफेट दिस एडीनोसिन डाइफॉसफेट एक्ट ऑन अदर प्लेटलेट द रिसेप्टर इज P2 Y12 receptor, purine receptor, which will cause platelet recruitment. But we have an opposite molecule, cyclic AMP, which inhibits recruitment. After this platelets are attached, these platelets are cross-linked, or a cement-like substance is added, that is fibrin, and the receptor of fibrin is GP2B3A receptor. This third step is known as platelet aggregation so let's make a summary of this physiology of platelet action so the first step cox1 enzyme cyclooxygenase enzyme which produce thromboxane a2 which causes platelet attachment the first process now when this platelets are attached they release a molecule known as adp adp goes on other platelet and act on P2 Y12 receptor, which causes platelet recruitment. It will call more platelets. Let's make a beautiful wall. But opposite to ADP, we have a molecule known as cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP inhibits platelet recruitment. So ADP causes platelet recruitment. Cyclic AMP inhibits platelet recruitment. Now, when the platelets are recruited, these platelets are cross-linked. with the help of a protein or a clotting factor fibrin fibrin has receptors on platelet that is gp2b3 a receptor gp i will be telling you is glycoprotein so this third step is known as platelet aggregation so now if we have discussed this physiology of platelet action we can block this process by giving anti platelet drug can we say the first anti platelet drug will be the drug which inhibits cox1 enzyme if we inhibit this cox1 enzyme thromboxane a2 will not be produced and it will inhibit platelet attachment can we block p2 y12 receptor of adp which will inhibit recruitment can we increase the level of cyclic amp because increasing the level of cyclic amp inhibits platelet recruitment and lastly we have a drug that will block gp2b3a receptor and this drug will inhibit aggregation of platelet so if we have understood this concept let's write the list of antiplatelet drugs so in the list of antiplatelet drug the first drug we have is irreversible cox inhibitor and the drug is aspirin so aspirin is a irreversible cox inhibitor then we have adp receptor which is p2 y12 receptor blocker third we have is phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitor remember phosphodiesterase enzyme degrade cyclic amp so if we give phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitor they will increase the level of cyclic amp and cyclic amp inhibits platelet recruitment last drug fourth drug we have is that is gp 2b 3a inhibitors so among this full list first four drugs can you tell me which drug is an anti aggregant drug which will inhibit aggregation of platelet yes this is an mcq GP2B3 inhibitor are known as anti-aggregant drugs. After that, we will discuss certain new drugs.